What's up everybody, Sean here, and today I want to talk to you about a question I get every once in a while, and that is, am I too old to start learning how to code? You know, I know a lot of people are, are trying to change careers, or they're learning on the side, maybe they have families, they might think they're too old, they might think it's a, it's a young person's game and this has passed them by. I didn't write my first line of code until I was 33 years old, 36 now, so I'm going to say no, it's, it's never too late to get, to get started, but we're going to dive into that more uh, in a bit. So. This idea kind of spawned from uh, a comment conversation I had with a subscriber of mine named Liam. Shout out to Liam. Uh, he, I believe he was 28 and he was feeling too old to get started. And I was like, man, I wish I would have started at 28. And then, you know, I kind of told him my story about how it was almost kind of an advantage being a little older in certain circumstances. So uh, that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to kind of tell that story. So because that really helped him and that like really motivated him to keep going. So I figure more people might be feeling that way. So that's what we're gonna talk about. So for those that don't know my story, I'm gonna give a quick, you know, 30 second to a minute context on where I came from and how I decided to, to learn how to code. So basically I went into the military right out of high school, was in the Navy on submarines. After that, I went into the family business and all state insurance agent for about six or seven years. And then right around 29, I decided to go back to school using my GI bill from the military. Uh, so I did that for three years and then moved out to San Francisco slash Silicon Valley right after school. But I didn't move out to San Francisco to be a developer. Like I, I wanted to get involved in the angel investing, venture capital, finance world. Like, right? like I went to school with degrees in finance and economics. Like I wanted to go that route. When I moved to San Francisco, the idea that I would be a software engineer was not even a thought in my mind. Like I had the perception that I think many people may have was that like, oh, that's too difficult. Like, I can't do that. You have to be like a math wizard, you know, all that stuff. I think a lot of people can relate to that feeling. And I had that same feeling. It wasn't until I got out to San Francisco and started working at a small startup, I made friends with our developers, started kind of talking to them about what they do and shout out to them. They were like super encouraging when I said, yeah, I think I'm going to start trying to do that on the side a little bit. And they were super encouraging. They were like, yes, you, of course you can do it. It's not hard. You can do it. You, you know, it just takes a lot of hard work and stuff. So that kind of alleviated the myth I had in my head that, you know, programming was this unattainable skill that like I could never get. So once I got past that, started learning on the side and, and again with encouraging developers every day, um, helping me out. And then I decided to go full time, did a boot camp, got my first job at a startup as a developer, did that for a year and a half. And then for about the past year or so, I've been uh, full time independent contracting and building this YouTube channel. So that's just some context on where I'm coming from. Again, I made that change at 33 years old, wrote my first line at 33. I feel like I've said that a hundred times in this video, um, but it's the truth. So now here I am three years later, well on my way into my career. It's probably the best decision I've ever made, to be honest with you, because now I have a career that's fulfilling. First of all, let's, let me put that out there. You have to love this coding thing, right? Like I'm not saying if, if you're switching careers and trying to be a developer just because of the pay raise or the money's good, it's not going to work. <laughs> like if, but if you try coding and you just like, man, I love this stuff. I love building stuff. It's like magic. You know, I have an idea type some code, it pops up on the screen. It's like magic. If you love that, then yes, this is gonna be the profession for you. And I would recommend going all in on the change because like I said, it's it's the best decision I've ever made. And create, not that I was like unhappy before, but like when you, when you love what you do every day going to work and that's like genuine, um, life's just a lot better than when you go to work every day, like not enjoying what you do. And an interesting story about how I felt like my age was an advantage in the job hunt was actually to get my first uh, job at a startup as a developer because um, it was right out of a boot camp, you know, and I've said this a bunch out of a boot camp, you don't really know much. They're kind of taking a chance on you. So they took a chance on me because a they liked my attitude, my work ethic, but they liked the fact that I was older, more mature and I chose this profession. Now, what I mean by that is I guess maybe they had bad experiences before. Um, so maybe I kind of got lucky in this sense, but they, they specifically said, you know, we like the fact that, you know, you didn't just go into this at 18, not really knowing anything, go through college, and now here you are like, I guess I'm supposed to get a job in this, you know? Because it's very hard at 18 to, to know what you want to do for the rest of your life. Some people get lucky and pick right, but I think a lot of people don't pick the right profession at 18, and that's not a knock on them. Like, you're 18 years old, what do you know? Um, so they liked the fact that I had gone through life, tried other professions, and that I found this profession that I was like super passionate about and decided to go all in. Like, I, I made the career change. They liked the fact that I made the gutsy move to quit my career and pursue this. So 
that is where I, I think the age and career change was definitely an advantage in what led me to get hired at my first job, which again was just the launching pad for the rest of my career. Because those of you that are looking to make the career change, you just need to get that first job, right? And then, then you're on your way. So again, that was just one quick story about how I felt my age of being older, and like I said, I call it choosing this profession, you know, at a more advanced age, uh, was definitely an advantage in getting my first job. And the last thing I wanna to touch on is ageism in Silicon Valley. Like, is, is there age discrimination here in Silicon Valley or, or just the developer world? Um, does it exist? Have I experienced it? Uh, have I ever felt like I didn't get something because I was an older developer? Um, I, I have not experienced that. Now, again, I'll give you the context. I've only been doing this for two and a half, three years, uh, and I'm not going to be naive and say that doesn't exist and, and that's not the case everywhere. But I also believe it is, it can be overcome with like your, if you're just a, great attitude, great work ethic, you're actually a strong developer. Like I believe talent in the soft skills will trump ageism like every day. You know, if you're just an awesome developer, an awesome person to work with, like you're not gonna experience any age discrimination or anything like that. So that's kind of the route I'm taking. I'm just trying to be like the best I can possibly be and I figure I won't have to worry about that. But again, I wanna be upfront and say, I'm not gonna say it doesn't exist. I just haven't experienced it. And I think one way that if you are experiencing it or if you are nervous about that, um, again, just work on being the best. I know that's kind of cheesy and easy to say, but um, yeah, I think that's going to, if you're just an awesome developer, awesome person to work with, you're not gonna experience uh, that discrimination in my opinion. But that being said, you have to go in with the right attitude because yes, if you are, 35, 40, 50, whatever the age is, um, you are going to be working with 24, 25, 26 year old developers. I mean, how your manager might even be 28, 29 years old, you know, when you're 40. But I think that's a two way street, right? Like if, if you don't make it an issue, it's not gonna be an issue, in my opinion. Um, don't get me wrong. Now I'm speaking in general, I'm sure if there are, you know, mean managers out there that it is going to be an issue for, and hopefully you don't get unlucky with that. But I think in general, for the most part, if you don't make your age an issue, it's not gonna be an issue. But again, I think this can spark a, a really good discussion because I have a small sample, right? Two and a half years, Silicon Valley. I would love to hear from somebody that maybe has been working here for 10, 15 years, not even here in Silicon Valley, but anywhere in development. I would love to hear any ageism, age, you know, discrimination type stories uh, to see if maybe it's more prevalent than I, I've seen. Maybe I'm just lucky and the path I've taken just haven't run into it. So uh, I would love to hear that in the comments, but the main point of this video is no, you're not too old. Again, for the thousandth time, first line of code at 33. And here I am loving my profession, loving my career. I feel like I'm thriving. Um, so yes, no, it's not possible, especially to you, Liam, you're 28, man, that's still super young. You know, any, anytime you're older than somebody, you can say, oh, you're just a kid. Um, but no, nah, man, like for sure, you're not too old. It just takes a lot of work. It's a long path. It's a long journey. Um, but it's definitely one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. The sun is killing me. I think we'll just end on that note. You're not too old. Go do it.